and we're live. Hello, good morning. It is Sunday. It's 10 a.m. on October 14th. It's a Sunday and we're making indie games. I'm gonna look into what happened last time I streamed actually. I don't remember. It's been kind of a blurry week. I haven't been able to work on the game at all really. Um, I spent two days I think getting together a presentation like a talk I'm giving, I'm giving it tomorrow here in Boston Indies and then again in Norway in two weeks. So I lost two days to that. I had to do a bunch of business stuff. Um, I did some work working on a logo, for instance. So like um, yesterday, I officially got my LLC started. Um, I applied, I have like an EIN and all that stuff figured out so I can file taxes um, I haven't gotten a bank account yet. I should do that. Came up with a logo. I'm debating trademarking it. I probably won't. It's expensive for no reason. This is Chump Squad. We officially have Chump Squad LLC. Um, so yeah, that's cool. feel pretty good about that. Uh, okay, so I spent a date on just the logo. Um, Spent a lot of time doing just biz dev stuff and thinking about what it is I want to do, and that's just complicated to talk about. Um, when I started, the plan all along was to exit this and make the game solo uh, and not take investment, but as soon as some people found out I, I was doing this, um, there's different opportunities. Mostly, some people want to there's some interest in investment in like Trump Squad, which I'm super. I I have to have those conversations just in case. Like there's a good idea there, but uh, I don't. I'm not really eager to do that. I guess like I'm not really interested in venture capital. Um. There's some things like that. There's I talk to different publishers. I do want a partner. That's the thing. I think that's why I'm getting a lot of these people reaching out to me is that are interested in investment is the reality I just I I don't want to make the game alone. I'm looking for a partner and in that way I mean more like someone who can help with marketing and uh what do you call it? Basically it would be cool to be part of like Devolver and Aperna's portfolio or have a publisher that is focused on getting the game out there. <clears throat> I'm really, I got burned really hard on the Flame and the Flood because like we didn't get into any of the Steam sales or we, we just didn't have the ability to make money off of that game when we self-published and I'm afraid of self-publishing at this point. And so I am kind of looking for a publisher, but only if it's a publisher I'm not interested in a publishing relationship where they just give you money. That's actually the worst imaginable thing, right? Like I don't want a publisher that'll give me money in return for a percentage. I want a publisher that'll uh, take the game to shows, basically like Devolver, Annapurna. That's, that would be what I'm looking for in that respect. And I did talk to Devolver a bit. And there's other things in the industry I'm really interested in. like. If possible, there's a lot of exciting, there's a lot of long shots I could take. It would be cool to get an exclusivity deal on some kind of, on one of the consoles or be a part of one of the new consoles that are coming out, though that's, the timing just doesn't work for that most likely. Um, there's a lot of conversations. I had a lot of conversations this week. My voice is already shot. Um, but yeah, so it's been a lot of biz dev bullshit. Showing the deck to people, pitching the game, and that sort of thing. Um, which is fun. So that was a lot of time, too. And then I think I did have one day where I worked on the game, which was great. And I kind of sunk into it in between calls. And that was, uh, I reworked a lot of the, um, the boat levels, the design of them specifically. So, er I started rethinking if I want to do that at all. But just the design of these wasn't very good. It wasn't really well thought out. And now it is. Oh, I'm getting that bug again. Wait, 
But the game is choppy only when you're looking at the stars. But I can't repro it. And the stat screen swears it's not happening. You see this, right? It's insanely choppy. I think you see it. Yeah. Why am I getting this stutter? And it doesn't happen when I use any other controls, only when I drag click the mouse. This intermit it'll happen, then it'll go away, and it'll only happen in this area or anywhere where there's a lot of stars. I don't know why. Like, it won't happen here. See? The fuck even is that? Anyway. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, so I reworked the design for the boat levels. Um, let me get rid of the stat unit. So that was my week. Oh, excuse me. I got very little done as far as like just game dev stuff, which is a bummer. On the upside, I did have a lot of cool conversations, and there is a lot of really, really exciting stuff going on in the industry right now, um, and it's fun to talk about, so that's fun, because I haven't had Chris Light to talk about, I haven't had the podcast in a while, but it's fun to wax philosophical on like, all the new streaming platforms that are getting spun up with everybody, and all of the, uh, what is it? the new people, the different people jumping into subscription services, which these two things are not necessarily linked. There's people doing one or the other or both. It's a really, really interesting time in our industry right now, I think. Especially like once you start getting into these conversations, you get a lot of the uh, it, moments like this when, when you're There are these moments like this, like I just started a company where I reconnect with old friends. We all talk about what we're doing and it's like a lot of people are lining up right now for basically a new console generation is coming, which is huge, right? And whenever a new console generation comes, you get a lot of uh, new IPs tend to come out of that. Being a launch title on a new console is an exciting new thing. Um, all of a sudden money floods the games industry whenever that happens not in the indie space only in the AAA space but like when there's a new console in fact i think it might be bad for indies because it uh everybody wants to invest on making the next halo right like the next big title the new ip that'll launch on the new console and that'll take off on the new console and um so the major platform holders sony microsoft etc they're they're lining up their launch releases and stuff right now it's interesting to see where people fall on the set on that and to speculate. It's fun. It's a really, really fun, weird time. <clears throat> Shouldn't it be a while? I mean, I don't know exactly when it's going to come out, but keep in mind it takes games like a couple years to make, right? So, and if you're on a launch title, you need to, um, you get access to the tech before somebody else. Uh, and how do I put it? They need to have those prototype dev kits to everybody a year ahead of time at least, and they need to have people having started their game before that. So I don't actually know anything, so I guess I'm free to speculate. It's not going to be 2019, but I bet it's 2020. I'd put money there. That's when the new console generations hit from the major players. Based on the announcements and everything, Sony's been real quiet, but you know if Microsoft is doing one, they're doing one, and, you know, I would put it about there. Not right for Kine, like, Kine needs to release in 2019, so it's not right for me, but it is fun to talk to other people about what they're doing. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. I don't know anything, right? 
I'm just speculating based on people what people are working on. Hey May, what's up? And the fact that there is a lot of money. I mean, you can see it, right? When you Microsoft just bought a bunch of studios. Um, there's been a serious uptick in investments, which means the new consoles are about two to three years out. Um, and I know some people are launch titles on the new console, so I know there are new consoles. And Microsoft announced they're doing a new console. They talk about it a lot. They recently spoke about their... Um, <clears throat> I wish I could be a part of what Microsoft is doing, but I just don't think there's a way. I don't know. I'm trying to have that conversation. But... Uh, I think they they're just doing so much right now it's hard to reach them. They've they've done a bunch of announcements recently about uh streaming on different like streaming on their phone, <clears throat> take your game anywhere kind of stuff. It seems like they're going hard for the what the Switch is doing. Seems like they look at the Switch and how pe how well that's engaged people and I think Microsoft does tend to um try to be in a best in breed. I think there's two ways to approach business, first to market or best in breed, and Microsoft generally, this is not a bad thing, it sounds negative, but they generally wait for somebody else to innovate and then move into the space and try to do what they did but better. Um, I wouldn't, there are times when that strategy works, I don't think it's working for a mixer, but it's, you know, I, I think they look at what, um, what the Switch is doing and say, oh, we can do that, we have phone, and we can do it across our, all our devices. Like we can do it on the TV and the phone and the computer. Play once, play everywhere. That sort of thing. <laughs> hey, Port Plonky, what's up, man? Yeah. Okay, I told myself I would try to ignore the chat and get something done, and I think I know what I want to do, maybe, but I'm scared. <laughs> I want to get something done for the game this week. That's concrete. Here's what I think I want to do. I'm going to look at how this is done. <clears throat> I have these different stages where things happen, right? God, I need to rework the UI. I have a huge UI UX problem that I'm ignoring. Anyway, so I have these side stages where you go into these other different menus. There's going to be many of them. Um, right now there's just the three. Actually, technically four. This one's the big one. I need to rework that area. Um, Shut up, board funky. The way this is being done is sad. I can't build on this. I just kind of started making it when I made it, and then it doesn't look that ugly, but it doesn't work. That's the other problem. I need, I need a pen. I need to think. I need. I don't have a pen or paper. Okay. Let's start with notepad. All right, so every stage has like a state, let's say. Or maybe we go by, there's different menu states, right? <clears throat> right? Right. Let's try to think about it in different ways. So there's, if you think about it as being stage focused, each stage has a um, a state where you're playing, a state where you're in the menu for that stage, and a state where you're not in the menu for that stage. You can only ever be in the menu or playing at one given stage at a time. We should think about it as being menu focused. So 
So in a given time, you're in a menu. Or we could call it the active stage. At any given time, there's an active stage. So it sounds like an enum, doesn't it? So at any given time, there's an active stage. And the stage can be inactive, active, currently playing, Level transition, transitioning level. So what if, <clears throat> I want to separate these. I want there to be, I want to always know what the active stage is. And then on the active stage, I want to set if that's currently playing, if it's not currently playing, and if you're transitioning a level, that'll all be animation stuff we handle separately. First, I want to handle which is the active stage. I want to set up the system so there's only ever one active. We're going to cut this crap. This is terrible and doesn't work. So, Let's just start fresh. Um, let's see, we have the game mode. The other thing is I think I want to move. Oh God, this is going to break everything. Did I check in? No, I didn't. Okay, let's start out with that. Backing up both levels before I destroy thing. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Use push and pop states. I think I'm just going to keep track of... Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say that there's... There can only ever be one active stage at a time, and you're only ever doing things to one stage at a time. And that's part of my problem. I want to... I want to... I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out as I do it. That's easier. I just remembered there was one thing I didn't show you, though. So I did spend some time in between calls one of those days doing... Um, I had like a weird little animation experiment where I would take a waveform and put it on a locator and see if I could do something cool with that. Like, can I animate directly to music using one of the stems of the songs? And the answer is like, no. Waveforms are gross and like super jittery. Even if you smooth them, there was nothing cool there. So there's like a couple, like a ex total experiment there that failed. But I think I did... Uh, I did start this based on that experiment. Like I started trying to move the boat to the music for this one level. I got in the new music for the um, the boat scene too. So they got like a little... Oh, you need the music to go with this. Give me a minute. Why didn't that work? There it did.
So here the experiment is like, oh, that's not actually as, I don't think that's running it right here. Here the experiment is how much can I get them to wiggle around while still staying in their grid? And the answer is probably not that much. <laughs> We're gonna see what I can get away with there. That's a half-baked experiment, I don't know why. I haven't actually looked at that since that couple hours I was working on it. just needs way more motion. I could probably get away with more up and down for that, for those levels. I might have to try that. That's good. I haven't had fresh eyes on that in a while. That actually sucks. I'll go back to that later. Okay. Anyway. Now I've officially done a recap for the week. <clears throat> I'm glad you like it, May. I'll tell Mitchell. He's really thinking about it, too. He's cool. I like him. All right, we're going to sink into this problem. We're going to get it done. Are there going to be different things I want to do for each stage? I don't think so. The menu system, it automatically exits the previous menu and enters the new one. That's how I thought I would structure this, but now I think about it, maybe it doesn't make sense. I think we're going to want like... Oh, wait, shit. Okay. We're gonna do something really crazy. I want all the stages, including the large one, in the same place. So these two, the fact that these are in two different levels is just not working for me. So let's get select actors. Oh, even the base splines? That's kind of a bit much. Why is there a camera in this? It's kind of nuts. I'm going to get rid of this map. I'm going to move everything from here to here. This is going to break everything. Yes. Okay, shit's going to be way broken for a while. Including apparently, like there's a camera here. I wish I hadn't. Wish that wasn't true. Because that can cause trouble if this isn't loaded correctly. Yeah. I need you loaded. What, which camera are you? This is from back when we had the lights moving to the music. We're abandoning this. And I 
Are you telling me there's nothing? There's no blueprint for this? Maybe not. I handle it all through matinee. That seems crazy. Now it is here. There's just a shit ton more. It's just somewhere else. Now I'm scared. Wait. No, that's good. Okay. All right, all my skill meshes are in one spot. Don't know how I didn't see this before. Was I on the wrong map before? Yes, I was. I'm just deleting shift from a random map. That's fine, whatever. I'm not sure if that's good. I'm going to reboot the editor. I don't want to change that map. I'm going to revert my changes to that level. I mean, it shouldn't have mattered. We just deleted a bunch of blueprint I wasn't using. I just don't want to make that change right now. I don't want to shake the gel that much from shaking it enough. Bits of the games are broken for most of development. I think, oh, what am I doing? You don't feel like your game's broken for most of development because you generally, every development I've been in, you're so heads down on exactly what you're doing. And you don't even really perceive, like, sometimes p other people are temporarily blocked, but you know that, and may hopefully they know that, but you don't really ever see it as the game is broken. It's hard to explain. It's a psychological thing. Until you actually have to put out a demo, and then you're like, oh, it all has to, everything has to work, all parts of the game have to work at the same time? Shit. And then, then you realize, you don't even, still then you don't realize the game's broken. Then you generally think, what is, I guess I have to get this to a playable state. <laughs> You never feel like the whole game is broken, at least if you're one of the devs. Anyway, this is broken, like broken in that it won't build or you shouldn't have the game in a state where it doesn't compile for very long, for instance. It shouldn't be in a state where you can't work or do things. You'll see, like if I ran the game right now, it would just crash. So that's bad. Um, I consider that broken. All right, so yeah, this is a shit show as well. Yeah, this is like a complete shit show, that's right. Goddamn. Okay, don't look at it. Let's just start with how we think it should be. We're completely rewriting this. It's important to get the main menu to work. Here's what we're gonna do. I want um set active state. Can 
I use an existing will tell me. Yeah. Do I want to do it based on main menu mode? I think I want like I mean, there's no point in making active stage. The menu modes are the same thing, right? Pretty much. That's my real problem here. I need a map from the main menu to the skeletal mesh. I need to make calls to the tree based on that. I need to update the trees to make sense. And that'll let me do unique things for each skeletal mesh. Let's just start trying that. So let's say I'm in active stage. By menu. This will be a map from here to the skeletal mesh. Mesh actor. This might just be something I set, right? Like the combo will be
don't know which one you are. One is the book. Let's call this book stage. TA two is a scroll. Yeah, three is just also going to be this. This means we're doubled up. You're also in the book. When you're in the calendar, what do you call that? Push monotony. Where you at, buddy? Are you not a skeletal mesh? Because I just don't have anything set up for you right now. That seems plausible. Yeah, you're not. Okay, we're not even gonna worry about the fact that you're busted. Okay. We just won't. Let's just get these working again. Okay, so from here. Activate a stage call. Um, here's where it gets interesting. So Oh, they're in there. Yeah. Okay, so there's no Anna BP. There is an Anna BP. Good. Oh, another thing they need to do is raise and lower, right? Okay, so this idea that you're tracking the menu state, that's absurd. We're not going to do that. I 
getting rid of this. It's not working anyway. So Yeah, this is silly. And every, no. We're replacing this with a pool. New pool is active. If you're not active, not active, close the book. If you are active, open the book. What else you got? If you're obstructing the camera, force hide. If you're obstructing the camera or you're being forced to hide, I'm not going to handle that on each individual. We're going to make a thing that does that. So another thing I need to do is there's um <clears throat> so each of these stages is probably going to have their own animation blueprint so I can do unique things there but I want to be able to make I don't want to have to cast to that unique blueprint and run a call each time instead I want to have a bucket of functions that I can I know will work on all of them and so that bucket of functions hopefully lives here I already started that at one point. I can see it right here. This is an interface. So you have interfaces somewhere. I defined an interface. Here we go. Okay. So set stand obstructing camera. How about set active? Set in a or ooh, well, no, fuck it. Set inactive. Force hide. Let's set force hidden. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm more used to this. He is hidden. So now we're setting a variable called force hidden. And set active will take is active. And that'll be a bool. Delete this. Okay, so now I should have set active. Mm. 
now for compile set active there it is Okay, so now rather than having every stage try to manage the state that the menu's in, every stage will use these kind of shared function calls. And these shared function calls will come from here and they'll do things like take the skeletal mesh, get the anim instance. No, sorry. Set active. Get anim instance. That'll get me to the animation tree. Logic on that. Call set active and set it to false. No oh, I wasn't clear on that. Here we set true. Else do we need? I mean, I guess you don't have to do anything else. Um, hmm. The big change is going to be getting this out of a matinee because I kind of like that it's in a matinee. It lets me. Animate the camera while also animating this. God, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, uh, I gotta rethink this UI a lot. It's not something I can build on. Okay. Not thinking about that today.
Yeah, no wonder this is insane. All right. Um, so now I can just say when you switch to gameplay, if um, I mean, we're still going to delete this later, but I just want to clean it up for now. I need to store. I almost want this to be an enum. Maybe I'll just do this. Until I know what I want. This would be the active menu. Actually, no, that's not what I want. I won't even need that later. Look, when you are... When you switch to gameplay mode, what I want to have happen is not this. I want you to get the active stage and call a function. I want that function to be That is playing. Or is in game play. matter for you. A lot of these things are going to be difficult for the main stage. You are the cleanest template I can build off of for the others. Thank you, book. From you, I will build everything else. I don't think this has an Anna blueprint yet. It... It does. 
What the hell is this? Is this being used? So I thought I was doing everything in matinee, so I'm kind of surprised by that. Find instance. Yeah, I don't think I'm using this. Oh shit. Hey, Unicornator. I don't know how long you've been here. <laughs> hey, Elf. What's up, man? Sorry, Unicornator. I definitely wasted it. My bad, man. I haven't gotten anything done for the game this week, and I kind of wanted to get stuff done. I was feeling like I got that morning energy, like pre-breakfast energy. Got the hunger that always motivates you to work fast. Thought I could get it all done pretty quickly. <laughs> Earn your lunch. That's the gold time. Anyway, hi, umbegette, 83. How's we're doing? I'm gonna get back to work. Here's what we're going to, we're gonna get this done today. God damn it. And then I'm gonna go eat lunch. So yeah, this is not being used. Delete it and see what happens. You swear you're being used, huh? Where? Prove it. Where, where are you being used? Like if I was to clear this and go back to the way things were. Like are you kind of maybe sort of being used, but not really? Like you have a soft reference that hasn't mattered in a while? No, you still think you're being used. Where? 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 In the level blueprint? Just, what is this even? No. I have this fear that I'm going to revert everything I've done because there's something I'm missing.
is such a shit show. I mean, I knew it when I was doing it. Yeah, so I started using this. I didn't use it. I'm just going to keep it. It's not hurting anything. I'm going to take this book in and blueprint that actually makes sense. I'm going to do a bit for the other thing. You finished bringing and animating your first voxel character. That's good. It's good when they're all shaky and weird. The early stuff. Man, it's so much fun starting out. Do you have a video? I want to see it. Right, it's hella broken. Good. That's what we want. So your Okay. Yeah, you should be able to post a link. Go for it. Sorry. where it turns to combo. Here's where you're in the level. This is where the music stand is turned and it's idling. Transition when it, it plays a swivel animation when the time remaining on that is less than 0 0.01 seconds transition to your new idle. Um, I don't actually have one where you put it away, do I? What are your animations? Combo level intro. Oh, I see. No, that's not what I want. I see. Nope. Okay. So I 
I actually don't have something for that yet. You just transition back. If is active is false. And how do you do it now? Yeah, whatever. Just transition back for now. Okay. If you're obstructing the camera, take the bind pose, the reference pose. We're going to call this local space ref pose and just move it down and see by a thousand units. That'll get it out of the way if the camera turns and the stage is in the way, it'll shrink down and completely hide it. Sometimes you need to move it down by 2,000 units. Okay, this should compile now. It's not feature complete. Ah, the bone you're moving down is the root. Good. This now works. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What Unicornator has been doing. Oh man! Oh, you had me right up until the end when the feet move. Why aren't the feet locked? <laughs> Your case solution's not working out for you there, man. Look at it. Rookie. Everything else is adorable, Rookie. That's just sad. You can get away with anything if this is your style. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's cute. I dig it. It's whatever. Um, here's what it was before. Definitely more character now. Really did. Oh, it's so fun early on. Okay. So I don't know, maybe like this will be different. I don't even know what it let's just see. Well, nothing's calling these functions that I made, so nothing there'll be nothing to see. Um right. I guess I just keep might as well just set up the scroll now too, right? Like, do you even have an animation blueprint? Probably not. There's a couple of animations. You know what you might have though is um something I need to get for this one. So I have this is in gameplay. Doesn't matter if the book matters a lot more for everything else. So if you're in, okay, level select main menu, to combo menu, in the combo menu. Here's where we're gonna copy some stuff from here. Combo level playing to combo level no longer playing. 
this idea is one that I need over here. So if you're in combo and you enter is in gameplay. Combo. In gameplay. Or about enter gameplay. You do this if is in gameplay is true. If play this and it doesn't loop. If I feel like I should have an idle. I won't worry about it for now. So combo level, exit gameplay. We'll transition to here if is in gameplay is false. And then once that animation is completed, remaining on that outro animation once the time remaining is less than 0.1 transition um, while in gameplay if at a state that is uh, what did we call it Trigger level transition. What this is going to do is set a bool is in level transition. I'll set that bool to true. If that bool is true transition to here um, transitioning between levels in all seriousness we should have another state here which is just combo menu in gameplay idle that's really where you come from, huh? You should enter this as soon as time remaining on the intro animation is less than 0.1. And then you should, of course, exit the idle if you're no longer in gameplay. If the is in gameplay pool is false, and then from that idle, you should be able to transition levels. This is just a play once thing though. So if this pool is true, you transition to playing levels. That animation is going to look like what? I should already have it somewhere. Do I not? Have I been editing the wrong thing? No. I think there's an animation for this. Oh, there is. It's just not hooked up anywhere. Okay, so um, show me the animations I've made. Really, I didn't make. I'm no, I did. Idle. You know what, for now I'll just replay this. This animation will probably work, right? 
Yeah, whatever. When you transition levels, this will happen. Okay. Play this once, don't loop it. No, these are set to loop, are they? No, okay. Um, when time remaining on that is less than 0.1. Blend back to the idle over 0.2 seconds. Also, when you trigger that transition, fire off an event. So you start that transition, say, um, level transition complete. Using level transition complete. Okay, that happens. Event graph. We should now have, if we compile this. Uh, so when the animation finishes, it fires off a function that is is in level transition complete. When that happens, quickly set this bool to false. Otherwise, we'll be stuck in a loop where we're the, the bull will always be true, so we'll keep doing that. So uh, set this to false. Okay. So I'll play it and it'll go back to idle. We now have this one theoretically done. I've tested none of this. Just operating on hopes and dreams right now. Um, I don't want to test it before we go too much further. Just gonna move <laughs> everything over here real quick. Just gonna try something new. So we switch to gameplay. Get the active stage. Get the anime instance. The animation blueprint. Uh, game. What set is in gameplay to true? And then we hopefully don't need to do this stuff. I'll just do the right thing on the active stage. Similarly here, we don't play an animation anymore. We just say, hey, whatever stage is active, set it to deactive. Or sorry playing. Set this in gameplay to false. So much simpler. So that'll handle going into gameplay stuff. Where is the uh, new level loaded stuff?
Jesus Christ. I want to, in the long term, jettison this. This is the new hotness. This is the old and busted. So, when the state changes, if this is not equal to main menu and it's not equal to the default state, no, I'm sorry. If this is equal to the main menu, or this is equal. If this is equal to the default state and the active menu is not equal to the main menu or the default, if this and this or this, no wait, sorry. This and this and this. Set. Uh, what are my functions? Deactivate active stage. Otherwise, activate active stage. Wrong thing, activate. Set active stage. Activate new stage. Middle haven't seen you in a while, man. Activate new stage. Right, so you can now be playing a level. Yes. Shouldn't I also have switched to level select from main menu? That's a different conversation.
Okay. I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't crash. And also the book opens and closes when we select it. Well, okay, well we didn't, it didn't crash. So we got one out of two. getting rid of all this crap, so that doesn't super surprise me. Some of this stuff is just completely different other things. Like this is just... This shows and hides some planes. Are you like the... what are you? Seriously, what are you? Your plane, what's on this plane? I'm very confused. You're hidden if in the gimbal with the boat. Hold on. You are a plane with the curtain on it, which makes no sense. And you're invisible. Are you visible? Show me. Oh, this is just hella old. This just doesn't need to be. Okay, you're gone now. How about you? You are visible. Who are you? You're that. Okay, yeah. You you do need to be hidden at times. Okay. Cool. Activate new stage, set active if this equal. Mm. Move you up here. and hide them. These are just different things I'm hiding. I'm just going to move all this up here and figure out. Menu 
state. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what's going to happen here. Let's see. Um, it'll probably still not work, but at least I want to look into why. Let's step through some stuff. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, so the book's not doing anything. When I go to this, so what do I expect to happen? I expect This bind event to level select state change. This should trigger. Does it trigger? No. Okay, new question, is it ever getting bound? Yes. Yes, it is. And it's immediately being called. So I'm slipping through here. This is correct. The new menu mode is comma DA, which is not default. The shell read 
false, it does. Okay. Activate new stage. What is this? That's fine. Here's a dumb thought. Did I ever set the animation blueprint on you? Yes, I did. Damn. Okay, so that's not the problem. Um, activate new stage. I'm going to start adding breakpoints so it doesn't skip this. I want to see where you're breaking. A state where it's not totally busted so I can eat and then come back to something happy. Yeah, let's restore whatever you got there. Does it take that much longer to package things when you've got uh, code? I'm actually getting nervous about that. I'm debating what I want to do going forward. Because right now my package packaging kind right now takes like a couple minutes. Maybe two minutes. Um, right, so let's open up that level again. See if we lost anything. We lost some stuff. Fuck. It's not that big a deal. We only lost the part where we moved this up here. So. Correct stage.
start adding breakpoints everywhere. What are they calling this? Interesting. Why is it not working? So we're going to your animation blueprint. We're calling this is active. If I open up. Show me over here is active is false. So is active is never getting set to true. Hmm. If I definitely hit this, I set is active here. What to do? That should have been called. J1 finds the book stage. Calls is active. This is never getting triggered. You're never happening. Why? Why not, buddy? I'm calling this on you. We should get from here to here. Is there some weird thing? Because I renamed it. Unlikely. crash again.
Oh no, you're just hitting a bunch of breakpoints behind the window. Okay. So we'll select state changed. Definitely change into a new level. Being told to activate that new level. Doing it. Definitely Colin is active. Definitely getting to here where we set is active. Excellent. And setting it to true. Shit. It's setting it to true on like the wrong blueprint. This is a skeletal mesh. Do that again. I'm confused. being set to true. Okay. Something else is going on here. I might still have code in this that's running. Is that the deal? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So the code I'm replacing is still running. That's obviously not going to work out. No, no, that's not the problem either. <laughs> 